hey guys welcome to my channel so today we're doing november and i think you saw the first part of the video like the very first part it was a different sketch and that's how it's supposed to be because i wanted it to be um two page spread i wanted the colors to flow like rainbow yellow orange red then purple blue and green but turns out in this sketchbook because i just recently bought it it turns out i can't paint i can't paint on the back of the page so i had to scrap that other the other sketch and just go go with this one yeah so um, today i'm just doing purple blue and green so maybe i'll do the yellow red yellow orange and red next week on a different page so yeah and here i'm just putting in the values it's something new that i'm trying putting in the values with an ink because once you lay down an ink it's not going anywhere it's not going to lift it's not going to muddy the colors depends on how you do it so yeah i just bought a random brown ink um at a supermarket and it's the one i'm using and it worked pretty well in this piece so here i'm just establishing the values for all three for all three sketches then I'll start painting one by one and I wanted the light source to be the same on all three girls just so it can even though the, so that even though the colors are different it, they still look a bit cohesive because the light source is coming from the same direction and this is, the, this is my this is my first time painting with just one color <laughs> and um, it was it was it was something it was quite an experience so yeah but it's one of my most I think my favorite pieces of the month I know it just started in November but like October and November it's like my favorite piece I just really really liked it and I'm so excited to do the yellow orange and red piece next week so yeah here I'm just I knew the values and for the clothes um <laughs> As you can see, the, the last two, the one in the middle and the girl at the end, they don't have any clothes on. Um, I was just, I, I drew, the, I drew the girls, and then I was wondering what, what should they wear? What should they wear? And then I just, I just couldn't be bothered. I was just so excited to start painting already. So I just threw on a shower on the first girl, and then <laughs> on the girl in the middle, and then the other girl just drew mushrooms on her chest to hide her chest area. <laughs> just so I could start painting already because it was it was like two o'clock so I knew the sun was going to start going down soon so I needed to start painting and figuring out what clothes to put put on them was really difficult <laughs> for me and plus with this girl's pose when I'm painting right now clothes have just been unless she was wearing jeans but anything else would have just been a, a pain But I really, really like this piece, and you guys should do November too, because it, it was really fun. I haven't had this much fun painting in a while, so yeah. You guys try it out. So in this piece, I'm just using um, my watercolor paints, and just I think I only used my acrylics on the last girl, and some colored pencils and watercolor pencils, but mostly it's just a watercolor piece. And this sketchbook is just, it's a very, very cheap sketchbook. <laughs> I was surprised when I saw it. Like, it was super cheap, like $2. And it's, it's 40 sheets of A5 watercolor paper. But even though you can't paint in the back, like, painting on the actual page that I'm painting here, it's it takes, it takes the paint and water quite well, like, super well for how much it costs. And it doesn't bleed. The paint doesn't bleed. And the paper doesn't warp too much. It doesn't warp at all. Like for this page, it didn't really warp at all. I just put the um, the clip there just so it didn't move around because it, it, the pages tend to slide. Like they tend to slide a lot, so that's why I put the the clip there. So here I've started painting the purple. I just got it's just a random. <laughs> it was a cheap watercolor set that I'm using. I'm mixing. I mixed um, watercolor watercolor brands in this video and for the purple in it, I didn't have this colored purple in my favorite watercolor set so I just got the cheaper one and it's, oh, 
and that's what's the purple that I'm using here and I'm using Faber Castell color me grip colored pencils and Faber Castell color me grip watercolor pencils for this piece and I feel like the purple one didn't it turned out okay I liked it I'm I'm very proud of it but I just feel like I didn't quite get the hang of it because it's like the first piece that I did so I feel like I didn't quite get it I was just ex I was still experimenting but once I got to the green girl I felt like I'd gotten the hang of it <laughs> and starting with the pink just saves so much blending time with the colors and makes it so much easier because you don't have to blend all that much because the because the darks are you because you've already established the darks in the mid-tones so all you have to do is just put in the color and it just saves so much time during the painting process and I'm I feel like I'm going to be doing this a lot so I'm just going so I think I'm gonna go out go out one of these days and get a, a black ink because I feel like the purple didn't suit the the brown ink so I think I'm gonna use use a black ink next time yeah and I didn't do thumbnails I, I wish I did because it was so hard and so stressful <laughs> thinking of where to put what colors where and yeah it was really stressful because I was scared like it wouldn't contrast enough so I I know I have a problem with not <laughs> doing thumbnails but I guess it worked out <laughs> Cause I just went in, I just got my colors and just started painting. I didn't do any thumbnails, I didn't do any pre-prep for this piece, so it was <laughs> next time I'll use thumbnails, maybe, maybe. And I'm just using the same color, the undiluted purple, just to add more color to the face, like the blush in the cheeks and the eyelids, the nose and the lips, and here I'm just putting in the colors and the shades that I used and um, I'm going to line it off camera because when I'm lining I get to I tend to get too close to the camera so my face my whole head would just be in the frame and you wouldn't get to see what I'm doing so maybe when I buy a better tripod I could like, change angles but with this one that's not really possible <laughs> So I'm just going to go ahead and line it off, line the whole, the whole piece off camera once I'm done painting everything else. So here I just went back with just a little more dark purple just to make those darks that aren't as dark, dark as I want them to, just to get them darker. All those areas that I missed with like the ink that didn't get as dark as I wanted them to. So yeah, I'm just putting the rest of the colors that I used and I'm going to go straight in to the blue, to the blue girl, I guess. And um, I was really freaking out going into the blue one because I didn't want to do the exact same thing that I did in the first one and I wanted the shower to be see-through, meant to be white, like a white or light blue, a pale blue shower. And so I wanted, I wanted the skin to seep through and it's my first time doing anything <laughs> see-through so it was super nerve-wracking and yeah <laughs> so here I'm just still freaking out because I also want there to be contrasts between the girl and her hair and since, since I only get to use like three shades and like two shades because the girl's like I'm using the navy blue for the girl and the shower I want it to be like pale blue so what color is the hair going to be so, <laughs> so I just got like I just got the same and I'm using phthalo blue I got the phthalo blue and added just a little bit of black because it's still blue and I'm not cheating or anything I just got added some black just to make it darker like super dark just so there can be contrast between the girl, the hair, and the shower. And I feel like it worked out. <laughs> and yeah, so 
I'm just, here I'm just trying to add a little gradient to the hair just so it isn't just like super dark and just to show that the light is coming from the front and I, and I, and I left the shower for like till the very 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 end because I was super scared I'd ruin it and if I just ruined it I feel like because it feels because the shower is like the center piece like the, the place your eyes go first on this girl so if I ruined it I feel like I, I just ruined the whole page so it's super nervous which is where the meal come in so I'm going to try to do those more <laughs> since I barely do them at all and doing the first one wasn't so nerve-wracking because I hadn't gone far so it was like if I ruin it yeah I'm going to be mad because I used spent a lot of time sketching it but it wouldn't like it wasn't that much time but if I ruin like the second girl or the last girl that was super nerve-wracking because if I ruin the last girl it would be like I wasted all this time and all this energy <laughs> and it just it just it just didn't work out and I would be super mad at myself and I wouldn't draw for like the next day <laughs> but yeah but I'm just super glad it, it worked out And yeah, so I'm just trying to. And for the coloring, I'm not using any references. I'm just, I'm just shade. I'm just coloring with, like you know, just just guessing where I think the darks would be, what I think would be darker, and what I think would be lighter. Cause, cause the the girls in the references didn't have any. They were just like in a studio, so it was bright all over. They didn't have any like dark areas where like the light they didn't have a, like a light source so adding a light source I had to figure out where the darks should be and where the lights should be like, for all of them because I wanted them to be cohesive so yeah it was, it was it was pretty I had to think a lot and for the shower I hadn't done anything like this before so it was really I just didn't want to ruin it <laughs> so it's just freaking out and trying to calm, my, calm myself down and yeah but I liked it I feel like the shower turned out okay like you can, you can tell that it's see-through and like the blue of her body is like seeping through because like she can't be naked so <laughs> that's why I threw the shower on and I feel like it worked and you can see that she's naked with only a shower but you can't see that she's naked exactly <laughs> So yeah, and he was adding the details to the first, just getting the dark blues, and I'm using a super tiny brush, and the brushes, I just got them from the Arts and Crafts store, but they work super well. I mean, the other, the other two, like the black ones that I normally use, I bought them in an art store, but the rest, I just bought them in a craft store, and they were super cheap, and, but they don't, they don't fray. Which is amazing. Like this one I'm using here, I bought in our store, but the one I was using before, like for the details, like they don't fray. And I've had them for like three months now and they're still intact. Which is super crazy. Because they're just random cheap brushes. And I bought them for like, if we're converting like to dollars, um, it would be like, I bought them for like a dollar fifty. Which is insane, <laughs> I think, because like, brushes can be expensive and it, and it was like a six brush set and it's like 150 and it doesn't fray but this one i was disappointed with this brush because it cost five dollars and for just the one brush but it frays like oh my god like i've just had it for like a month but it drives me insane <laughs> it's only good for like super big big like big areas but since I usually draw tiny pieces, it's, it just it, ju it drives me crazy. And for this piece, I'm using mostly sap green, which I love. Even though I don't paint with green a lot because it's not my favorite. I, I don't know. I just, it muddies things a lot. So I don't paint with it a lot, but I like green and sap green. Just looks, I just like looking at it. I don't like working with it so yeah but for this in this piece it's my favorite it was my favorite in all of them because <laughs> i feel like the brown 
ink like just it just went super well with this piece i'll try to do something like this again soon like with with the brown ink and the green because it just it, it worked super well together i think and yeah this is my favorite she was my favorite among the three even though i like i loved all of them but she was like my absolute favorite and for the hair i'm using like turquoise green wait turquoise green no it's not, it's not a turquoise green but it's like that green that looks like it has blue in it because there's a blue that looks like it has green but something like a green that has blue and it's a cheap paint <laughs> even though it paints really well it's a cheap paint so it only has green on <laughs> on the package but and on the tube but it works it works and it's the same one I'm using for the details in the face just like I used in the hair and I'm going to go over the hair again just to get it to look more green but in the skin I feel like the brown worked out super well with the green I feel like it looked I don't know I feel like it looked, it looked super earthy like it just made the whole thing look super earthy if that's a thing and on camera the green like of her skin looks really pale but it's not that pale in real life it looks like the, pe the crayon on the very end that light green crayon that's how that's what it looks like in real life but on camera it looks super pale so I don't know I don't know why <laughs> but like in the end in the end at the end of the video I think you'll see I think it looks more green because the, the lighting changed outside since I paint in front of a window. But yeah, so here I just took out my acrylics and I used step green and blue green and added some a little bit of white to it just to make it a little bit more opaque and to show up more just to, for these little plants on her hip because I feel like with the mushrooms on her chest she needed some plants somewhere <laughs> and yeah I think I think this piece made me like the color green because I don't usually like it it made me a green fan because <laughs> I don't usually add green in my pieces I added it in the last piece but it was a draw this in your style and the artist that did it used green so I had to use green wasn't like a personal choice but I never usually gravitate towards green in in my pieces so it was it was fun it was super fun and I don't really like how my work looks when I line it I just don't like lining so I try to line as little as I possibly can like I don't line everything I just try to line what's in the darts just so it's more prominent but I don't know. Maybe if I use a, maybe if I get a brush pen, because the strokes would be like would vary. Maybe I'll like I will like lining. But I usually like lining with the tiniest nib I can find. And so far it's a point four. So I'm looking into buying, finding like a point two or a point three. A point three tip, and I usually use not black i just feel like black is just too harsh and on the art that i make i just don't like it i don't like to line with black so here i lined each piece with its with its color like i lined the green one with the green pen the blue one with the blue pen and the purple one with the purple pen so here's the piece and i hope you guys like it and if you like it please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe bye, bye.